I'm going to start the afternoon talking a little bit about the planners section of the PLS for Schools website, because you've heard all about the responsive this morning. So I'm going to talk about the other side of the website. And uh, I will be helped in this by Sylvia Georgia, who's going to uh, kind of do the link between the morning and the afternoon um, with the uh, projects in Aberdeenshire. And then we'll, I'll hand over to Risha for the rest of the afternoon. And he's got various speakers as well, as you can see on the program. Okay, so just going back to Paralanguage for Schools, for those who are not familiar with the, uh, the website, um, I have responsibility for the planners section. So the planners is the part of the website that guides teachers, should they wish to use that side of the website, through the implementation of and the delivery of the target language to their class. Okay. Uh, it follows a coherent linguistic progression through the seven years of the primary school, if you are in Scotland, and it takes the pupils from a starting point to an end point. So that's the, the objective is the progression through the, the seven years of the primary school. Okay. So this takes the form of suggested planners, we call them suggested planners, and they are organized by language and by year of starting to use the website. Okay, so we call them PL School or PLS, PLS1, PLS2, PLS3. So if you're new to the website, you would start with PLS1. And then they're organized by stage. Okay, so we're looking at here, the we're in a Scottish primary school, so we're looking at the various stages of the primary school, uh, P3 to P7 here in that instance. Okay, and so this section of the website takes the form of, um, as I said, suggested planners, which give you suggested learning experiences and also suggested class projects to uh, work on with your with your pupils, okay? And they are also accompanied by a set of resources uh, which are linked to each planner and we call them associated resources. So if you want to click on one, anyone, uh, you will, if you click on block three or primary three, you will see your planners, hopefully, and then your associated resources at the bottom, okay, so they um, they all um, are meant to be used together, okay, and so these are all the resources for that block for that year, okay. So that's just a wee uh, presentation of the planners for those who are not familiar with them. Uh, just to give you an update on what's been happening and what is happening in the planner section. Uh, so we are currently developing PLS 5, so the fifth year, we're in the fifth year of developing uh, our uh, planners and resources. And PLS 5 Block 1 French is available at the moment, with Block 2 available uh, in October, and then Spanish and German Block 1 will be available in October as well. So this is my ongoing work with the planners. Okay. And for those who have used or are using um, the planners, we have decided to change the theme, uh, the theme for PLS5. It was intended to be in the seven year plan. Uh, it was int intended to be called Me and My Town, introducing vocabulary for uh, you know, shops and places of interest in your town, etc. We have revised this a little bit. We've decided to call it uh, All Around Me. Uh, the idea was that we wanted to make sure that we would revisit and consolidate prior knowledge. So we took a little stop and we thought, well, these, <coughs> they, these, these children are in, in P5 now, and maybe there are things that we haven't, they haven't covered. So we went back, and we were, the idea is to um, consolidate and enhance the <coughs> learning that's been happening in the first four years of, um, of the primary school. And so this is just to show you that the, um, the content of the plan is, is also dynamic. Okay? I don't get requests from teachers, um, as Nadine does, but I have, it has to, I have to constantly think, you know, uh, where am I and where do I want to go? Okay? So we've just changed 
but a little bit, and this also will uh, hopefully build confidence in the pupils and will recycle lots of prior knowledge and also work a little bit more on uh, their reading and writing skills as we uh, work towards second level. Okay, so that's what's happening at the moment um, in the planner. We've just also start, uh, updated PLS3 and PLS4 following feedback from users and development offices. We wanted to introduce uh, a bit more work on the French alphabet and French uh, phonics, and not just the French, uh, the other languages as well. So we started with the French, and so we have revised these planners uh, to include that. Okay, so they have been um, changed a little bit, and all the changes are online, which reminds me to tell you that remember, remember that all the, uh, the latest resources will always be online. So if you felt you did. Uh, a planner is five years ago, it might not be the most up-to-date planner. Okay, so always use what's available online at a given point. Um, so Spanish and German will follow uh, from that. Uh, again, following <coughs> feedback from users, we are also starting to revamp uh, our planners and resources from PLS1, so we're going back to PLS1 onwards. And what we want to do is um, refresh the, the resources. So look again at the font, at the formatting, at the pictures. So we want to put uh, new, uh, new pictures, new formats, so a bit more exciting. And also following feedback, uh, including more sound files on the PowerPoints that we have uh, on the planners. Uh, and also create animations. So as you know, those who have been using the platform, we've used uh, lots of PowerPoints in the past, and we are now using more animations, okay? So we want to have both on these plans. Some teachers, we've, uh, we have been told, cannot access the, the animations that well, or if they're using it live, sometimes it doesn't work. So we need to have the PowerPoints, but we also want to have the animations to make it more uh, interesting to use, okay? So we're going to revamp uh, planners, as I said, include extra sound files, and generally just taking a fresh look at uh, what's been there already for, for the past five years. So we're just going back uh, forward and looking back as well. So this will be ready over the course of the year in the next six, nine months. The idea is to have it everything by next summer so teachers can start with a refreshed uh, platform in, in August 2019, okay? Um, what else? Uh, in the process, we have we are updating our passports, and this links in with what you're going to see in in Sylvia's uh, presentation. Uh, the passports are attached to e each PLS school year, and they recap um, the topics and objectives for each year, and they also include uh, I can statement, which uh, are related to the skills-based um, curriculum. So these. Passports uh, help teachers profile their pupils and help them also monitor and assess progress uh, in the classroom, as you'll see in the uh, presentation by Sylvia. So we are also uh, updating passports and adding an extra column, so that's getting technical, <laughs> in the ICANN statement to include the significant aspects of learning, uh, listening and talking, reading and writing. So the PLS4 passports uh, will be available very soon in French, German and Spanish and you will see for those of you who are using the, um, the website that we have put the French overviews for PLS4 online and German and Spanish will follow shortly as well. Uh, so this is just my little introduction to, pass to planners and just, um, just showing you as well that we are, as I said earlier, we're looking at uh, something dynamic and we are very much interested in feedback from users and development officers and all of you uh, in the education world, so we're ensuring that our resources are always up to date. Okay. Do you have any pressing questions on the planners? For those... We haven't asked questions yet. I'm going to <laughs> want to... <laughs> Or if you do, put them on the little post-it notes and we can you know, answer your questions at the end. Okay. So I'm going to introduce uh, Sylvia Georgin 
who is the Development Officer for Aberdeenshire Council, and she will talk through uh, the projects and what's been happening in her local authority. Thank you very much.